Coming up on today's episode of the Steve Freeman Podcast, one of my good friends, one of the most successful, both personal and professionals that I know, Tom Dowd, is joining us today on the podcast. I'm Steve Freeman. This is the Steve Freeman Podcast, brought to you by Found. You're listening to the Steve Freeman Podcast, the real, raw truth about the pursuit of success in music, business, and life. Here's your host, hit songwriter, multi-platinum selling producer, and serial entrepreneur, Steve Freeman. In today's episode, you're going to learn a lot about business as I'm joined by my friend Tom Dowd. But if you are self-employed and you're trying to build your business, banking is of the utmost importance. And you need to have a partner that understands banking for the self-employed. And that, my friends, is found. It's easy to sign up, no credit check, no minimum balance, and no monthly fees. When you're self-employed, you need to separate your business banking, track your income and business expenses, and do complicated self-employed taxes. Found takes care of all of that so you can focus on the parts of the job that you love. Found is a full-featured business bank account. That's what they're offering you right now. It's business checking account. You get a business debit card. Uh, you have direct deposit and ATM access. Most importantly for the self-employed, it's also an all-in-one business income and expense tracker. With automatic expense categorization, you can set up your own custom categorization rules. You can do receipt capture, note log, and you can import transactions from other sources and invoicing programs. When it comes to taxes, Self-employment taxes are an absolute nightmare. I hate dealing with it, and it is that time of year. But next year, it's going to be easier for me because of Found. They have comprehensive and easy-to-use tax features built right into your account, including a custom tax bill calculator, dedicated tax savings accounts, intel uh, uh, intelligent tax withholding, and auto-generated Schedule C and in-app tax payments. Plus, you get real-time business reports. Found is FDI shored and offers real-time transaction notifications that allow you to stay on top of any activity on your account whatsoever. It's absolutely easy and free to open an account in minutes. No minimum deposit, no monthly fees, no credit check. Found is business banking for the self-employed. If you'd like to get started today, I highly suggest you do. Go to get.found.app slash Steve Freeman. That's get.found.app forward slash Steve Freeman. Found business banking for the self-employed. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Steve Freeman podcast. I am so glad that you are here. Don't forget, rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast no matter where you're listening. If it's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, it doesn't matter. But if you're on Apple Podcasts, make sure you give us those five stars and please take 30 seconds and leave a written review. I would greatly, uh, greatly appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. Make sure you're following me on social media everywhere at the Steve Freeman. If you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, you got questions, you want answers. I'm more than happy to do that. I would love to have you as a part of my community. The easiest way to do that is not email. The easiest way to do that is to just simply text me. 949-577-8227. That's 949-577-8227. You can see it right there on your screen if you're watching the video version on the Steve Freeman Podcast YouTube channel, which you should subscribe to. You should hit the thumbs up button to like this video. You should share it with everybody you know, and you should leave a comment. But I would love to have you a part of my community. You could, you could, If you become a part of the community, you can ask anybody. You text me, I answer right back. That's, that's why I love texting. 949-577-8227. 949-577-8227. Today's guest on the Steve Freeman podcast is my friend Tom Dowd. Now, for the last 12 years, Tom has been business partners with Mark Wahlberg, the actor. Many of you know about Wahlbergers. You know about F45 Gems, performance-inspired nutrition. You've definitely heard about right here on the podcast. But for, like I said, the last 12 years, Mark and Tom have started these businesses and have grown these businesses, and it's absolutely an amazing story. I had Tom on um, probably over a year ago now, and if you haven't listened to that episode or watched that episode, I highly suggest that you go back and you check that episode out. But coming up, I wanted to have Tom on this week because there is a new show many of you may have seen or heard 
coming out uh, in just a couple of days on the 15th called Wall Street. Now, this show is going to follow and feature the entrepreneurial endeavors of Mark Wahlberg. Tom is in the show because he runs everything for Mark. Everything outside of TV and film, uh, you'll find Tom at the helm. He's running all of the different businesses, the operational day-to-day. Uh, he's the one responsible for all of the different uh, opportunities uh, that get pitched to them for businesses and for investments and for companies and different things like that. So I thought it would be interesting, again, because the show is airing uh, on the 15th, to have Tom back on to to talk a little bit about it. It's going to be a great show. It's on HBO. If you get HB, if you have HBO, you get HBO Max for free. So I highly suggest that you that you check it out. So it's my pleasure to welcome to the Steve Freeman podcast once again, my friend Tom Dowd. One of the things that I, I wanted to ask you that I find fascinating, of course, it, it does help that you know Mark is is one of the most recognizable people faces on the planet uh, that helps but one of the things that i've really admired that you guys have done especially with performance inspired uh, maybe not so much as with municipal but i think with f45 as well as you guys yep. almost have this this way of launching these businesses where you're not going out spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on facebook ads and and instagram ads and all of this stuff it, at least i know from personal experience with performance inspired when you guys launched this thing, you basically launched it on the back of your relationships, Mark's celebrity, and and really showing, yes, putting out content on social media and using social media as the vehicle that it is. But you guys yep. are doing almost the opposite of what all these other marketing gurus and everybody are telling you that you should be doing, which is running hundreds of thousands of dollars of Facebook ads and competing in, in that space. Tell me about y'all's philosophy of growing these businesses, for the lack of a better terms, in the modern marketing world at a grassroots level? Yeah, that's an interesting question, very insightful. Um, yeah, so we kind of started off wanting to do this very organically. Everything we get involved in, we like it to be organic to who we are. Certainly what Mark's involved in, um, you know, it has to be real. You know, um, so we started off just trying to build this, you know, kind of this revolution mentality around all natural, very efficacious formulas without all the marketing BS and hype that a lot of the old bodybuilding brands used to do. And some still do. I mean, pretty much every major brand today in the, in the health and wellness sports nutrition business still advertise for, you know, brand ambassadors who have like a million followers and, you know, this and that apply here. You know, we just think that's you know, cheating in a way, and we just don't dig that, and we go a whole different route where we actually use real customers to tell our story. We put our real customers in the magazines. We put them online. We really, you know, celebrate them making the choice to use our products and engage with them. So that's one reason that we're not, like, blowing up and going and spending the big money because we're not paying people. Um, we're very excited that Bryson DeChambeau, the hottest golfer, on tour who you know it's augusta week fingers crossed you know it's going to be a very anxiety ridden uh, weekend for me uh but bryson dechambeau just walked away from a big protein business uh who was paying him to write a check to us and be a partner um and bryson's been using our products already for about three four years uh, about three years um and loves it and he just loves what we're doing and he just came on you know because everything we do you know has to be authentic and real um, and that includes like you have to be a real customer to be involved with us. You have to, you're not a paid endorser. You know, Mark's a real partner in the business. Mark and I started Performance Inspired. And Bryson wrote a check and said, oh, listen, I love your products. I want to be a part of it. I want to help create products with you. Um, I want to be involved in your business ventures going forward. And, you know, I just love the space. And he's a, just a class act. He understands nutrition, fitness. The guy put on 40 pounds of mass and is hitting the ball further than anybody on tour he's just a beast uh so you know we're happy to have him on board and he's a real asset so you know that's kind of our whole mentality about spending and where we are but now you know we're on walmart now.com we're going into stores I'm very excited about that we're getting a lot bigger distribution into the supermarket space so now we're really spending money with our retail partners and spending more money on it so it's self-fulfilling you know as the money comes in we put it right back in to um driving awareness for the brand 
Uh, but Mark certainly cuts through the clutter like nobody else. I mean, people really you know, love Mark. He's been around over 30 years. Um, actually, Good Vibrations came out 30 years ago. He's about to turn 50 in June. Um, so he's got a long career ahead of him, and he's got a great career behind him. And his demo profile reach is fantastic. Both male and female love him. And he's a real dude. Like, he just really gets it. He works hard, busts his ass. He was the hardest working guy I know by far. And I know a lot of incredible people. You know, he gets up at 2.33 in the morning to work out, you know, when he's really on a busy schedule just to fit it in. I mean, you know, he, he gets his eight hours sleep. He goes to bed early. But he gets up and grinds, man. And he'll go and he, you know, will go play nine holes, 18 holes of golf, go home, see the kids, get them off to school, have breakfast with them, and then go shoot for 10 hours a day, you know, if he's filming. So it's just incredible to watch this guy. And he's, you know, constantly involved in business. He's on the phone with me five times a day. You know, um, I haven't actually spoke to him in about two days and it's like just crazy weird. Uh, but you know, we're launching that, you know, wall street and it's, uh, you know, I know he's swamped to doing interviews and stuff. He'll be on, um, I think it's Jimmy Kimmel Thursday night. <clears throat> you know, so hopefully everybody can tune in and watch that. Uh, Mario Lopez just did an interview with him uh, for Extra. So, you know, we're real excited about this show. And, um, you know, he's just grinding away. Well, I would, I do want to ask some, some specifics about the show. But I want to get a little bit, maybe before the show comes out, I want to ask a, a couple questions that have to do with sure. some of the things I'm sure that the show will go into. And for those of you listening or watching, make sure you set your calendars. Wall Street wow. will premiere on HBO Max on the 15th here in just a couple of days. Uh, and you don't want to miss it. It's going to so much insight. I, I know I can't wait. I mean, I, I know I, I get every once in a while, I get little things from Tom. So I feel like I get a little bit of inside stuff. You guys are here doing things. And, and I'm excited to see that manifest oh. itself on the show. Here's the man now. I'm doing a podcast. Hey, Mark. Right, call me later. I couldn't talk. This was my mom. Oh, okay. I'll call you right back. Okay, right. I'll say goodbye. All right. What? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Two days and there it happens. So, yeah, that's the man. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That is uh, nuts. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, I jinxed myself. I was enjoying the two days of freedom. Um, there you go. Now it's time to go back <laughs> yeah. to work. Uh, well, hey, look, uh, for yeah. me, Thank I can you. now say Mark Wahlberg officially made an appearance on the Steve Freeman podcast. So, hey, it works out for everybody. <laughs> um, I know you guys uh, are yeah. going to get in this. Uh, ring, is that special alarm ring? Do what now? I say that ring is that special alarm ring because he wakes me up at all times of the night and morning. So I have to really jar awake. Otherwise, they'll just call back and back, and my wife will be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Answer the damn phone. phone. So I have it on that. Well, I yeah. know that, that yeah. you guys are going to feature a lot of this on the show, but I want to I want to ask you personally, when you mm -hmm. or, or you and Mark are presented with an opportunity, with somebody comes to you with a business idea, they want to pitch you a business idea, or it's a business idea that you guys have together that you want to start from scratch. What is the criteria yeah. that you guys look for uh, when you're sitting down and you're evaluating, you're looking and it's like, okay, do we really want to get involved in this space? Do we, do we not want to, what are you looking for when people pitch you ideas that really, for the lack of better terms, really turns you guys on from a business perspective uh, that makes you want to get involved with this? Yeah. Uh, you know, we get pitched a lot to the point where they create a show around it in part. <laughs> so uh, it's an interesting process. Um, you know, people try and come, you know, through me, then they try and go around me sometimes. Like it's just comical to watch, you know, all the uh, people come out of woodwork constantly to try and come after us, especially when it shows being advertised now because it talks more about business. So people are really like coming at us. So what we look for is, you know, a lot of basics, like with Warren Buffett, you know, talks about, you know, good people, um, you know, sound business, something that's organic to who we are. Um, we, do we see growth potential? And then, you know, then it gets put through a meat grinder by usually me and the team. You know, we have people, Mark and I own this building here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And, you know, we have analysts and, you know, everything else. And then we have other analysts, you know, if we roll it up into a venture capital 
one of our companies that we work with closely, you know, who have deep pockets and then they put it through a meat grinder. But, you know, I'm kind of the operations guy that really takes a look at, well, does this make sense? Do the numbers make sense? You know, why are these guys pulling out these huge salaries? You know, the, the, why they have 15 people on, on staff when they should really have five, you know? So then that type of interaction, you know, we, we so we pressured it that way. And then if everything hits, you know, and, and feels real, um, and then, you know, it's because, you know, to be involved with us, you know, adds a lot of gas to the fire if they have a fire. If they don't have a fire, you know, we don't want to waste our time because it's just a lot of other opportunities. So we have to kind of limit because, you know, it's just like charity. You know, you have to focus on certain charities because there's so many of them and they're all very sad in most cases. So you just can't, you know, you can't do everything. Or you'd be broke and, you know, then you wouldn't be able to do anybody any good. Um, but um, so we, we, we usually take that route, you know, it starts with a call, you know, an email. Interesting. I'll look at the website. You know, we'll maybe have a, a call and then we ask, sign the NDAs, which we do five, six times a week. And then I just start digging in. And then, you know, just like with F45, it was actually a meeting in the back room of Ellen show. Um, I had the meeting. And it was such a good meeting. I, when Mark was done, I stopped him I put the door and said, hey, I want you to sit in on this meeting because usually I'd have the meeting, fill him in, and then we'd re-engage, um, determine that based on his schedule. But then I said, listen, I want you to come in and hear from these guys. I think this is huge. We need to really get after this. Um, and I want you to hear it directly from them. And that's how we got involved in F45. And when you guys do decide, okay, we're stepping in here, we're getting involved here, what what are the first couple of one, two, or three steps that you guys do to immediately take something that's existing and get it into your workflow, into your funnel, so that it runs operationally yep. the way that you guys are running all of your other successful businesses? Yeah, I mean, in this case, it was more of just adding, you know, Mark to the mix, working out, you know, following them, social, you know, stuff, you know, looking at, you know, get, getting to meet the founders. Um, you know, we didn't really get too much in the weeds with them. Um, we're, you know, we're probably taking it public here in May or June. Um, so, you know, we just had to make sure that the accounting principles were proper for the U.S. It's the third largest chain, you know, in the world, you know, came out of Australia. Uh, so we had to, you know, meet all the requirements here to take it public. Uh, but we just loved that space, you know, that, and that, that culture at F45 I loved. And I knew about F45. Um, I was the only one in the group that really knew them, um, you know, because we wanted to make products for them. We white label as well. Um, but, you know, I was, like, very excited for that opportunity. Um, but, you know, we just have to really understand what their needs are. And that's kind of the first step. Um, to answer your question, you know, do they need more people? Do they need some marketing expertise? You know, do they need some some so sit down and come to Jesus meeting about you know their spending habits? You know, so there's a lot of you know those little steps that you take, and it all depends on which deal it is. You know, sometimes you have a small deal that needs a lot more expertise. You know, the marketing's terrible. You know, they're not spending the money the proper way or where. So that's kind of where we step in and help add value. Um, and then we had the. The Mark Wahlberg, maybe Bryson DeChambeau down the road on new deals. And, you know, Draymond Green is a partner in PI. He invested as well, as did a, a WME, IMG, Sports Academy, an agency invested with us, um, as did AMI, American Media. So we have a lot of channels and levers that we can pull to help um, add gas to the fire and, and really raise the boat. Are you a little concerned with this show coming out that, if you get pitched five or six things a week that now you're going to get pitched 150 to 200 things a week? Yeah, like I mentioned, we're already seeing, a, you know, a lot more emails coming unsolicited. You know, I just get the forward, forward, forward to me because, you know, everything has to, you know, I'm, I'm kind of the good guy or the bad guy. So it comes to me first and, um, you know, all of a sudden, like Mark and his team are sending me a lot bunch of emails now uh, to take a look at. So, you know, some are interesting, you know, with, you know, probably we do one out of a hundred deals, if that. Right. Well, it, and it also seems too that you guys are, are building a theme here. I mean, when you look at F45, performance inspired, municipal, um, even even Wahlburgers, you add all this in and now Mark is launching the, the Ballers report. And, and it seems that yep. that, the, all these other little pieces that are in the same family, but are now going to be really wrapped up underneath this lifestyle brand that covers 
everything really i mean i was i was looking taking around looking at it the other day and it's like it oddly enough which is it's smart and it's you guys are doing this on purpose but it's aimed at fashion it's aimed at lifestyle it's aimed at health it's aimed at wellness which are all categories that you guys are heavily invested in yeah yeah again we try and stay in spaces that we understand and the organic and where we can add value um you know as well so you know listen if mark likes you know he likes tequila now and he might you know we may do a tequila deal at some point who knows but you know it's got to be real and it's got to really come across naturally um you know to us and you know it's got to feel good um and you know you listen man who chases two chickens goes home hungry <laughs> it's an old chinese proverb so you have to stay focused focus is key you know, you can't chase too many things because listen, there's probably a thousand great opportunities right now that would be great for us, but we can't do a thousand things. You know, we have bandwidth issues already uh, just with everything going on. And, you know, and again, you can't, you know, and part of my, you know, um, expertise is branding. So part of my, you know, shepherding is how do we not bastardize any of our brands? So we have to make sure that, you know, everything is right and spot on and we don't get, you know, in too many directions because then people start to see us, you know, chasing shiny objects for money, you know, and this and that, when that's really not the case, My, you know, we don't even make money in some of our businesses for a long time. Um, you know, certainly during the pandemic, we certainly took it on the chin, you know, but people always think, you know, oh, you guys are just, you know, killing it. But yeah, you know, listen, everything's a risk. Business isn't easy otherwise everybody would start businesses and invest in businesses you know there's a lot of work that has to be put in and there's a lot of risk you know so you just have to be comfortable dealing with those things and you have to work hard and grind 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 man we grind all the time you know i mean you know i have very wealthy friends who you know um i should be hanging out with in florida i was just down there on on, on a boat and hanging out and i'm thinking geez, you know i could do this and then my wife's like yeah you'd be dead in like two weeks you know you just you, you need you need to be busy. You need that. You know, you just you know, you know, fall off the boat and you know, you know, you just be bored to death. So uh, it's, she's right. You know, I like grinding and I like the business. Maybe not forever. You know, but certainly now I just love I love business. You know, I'm not a big sports guy. I just love doing business. I just love the the whole interaction and just everything that about it. I always have. Well, and that's a little bit. Even I was talking with somebody the other day that that I was talking about making it, quote unquote. And I was talking about the fact that most people don't understand that, that number one, you want to hope that you never make it because that means there's nothing left. There's no place left to go. And, you know, that, that even people like yourself and Mark, even though you can look at success at its height, that there's still sacrifice. It's not just all, you know, it's not just all fun and, and, and red carpets and, and million dollar Mercedes sports cars. In order to have all of that, even being one of the biggest celebrities, one of the most most prolific entrepreneurs in our day and age, and for you as well, it's still a daily sacrifice. You guys are still sacrificing time. You're sacrificing important things to accomplish this goal. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, listen, Elon Musk was sleeping on a couch, at, at, you know, um, you know, to make his business grow, and you know, that, nobody needs to work. You know, like hit that guy. I mean, you know, um, so Tesla, he was literally sleeping on a couch in the office, you know, grinding hard. So, you know, listen, everybody pays the price somewhere. You know, GNC, I survived three leverage buyouts, foreign ownership, and taking the company public. You know, and, you know, there was literally, you know, I cry, you know, on the way home from work some days, like when I was younger, going, oh my God, I'm going to be thrown out into the street. This is incredible. Incredible, you know, because, you know, these guys buy you and then they try and fire you, you know, and, you know, we'd sit in executive meetings and it'd be like three empty spaces next to me. I mean, what happened to our CFO? You know, well, he, he did, <laughs> he's gone, you know, so but listen, but I survived and I ground it out and, you know, um, we made a lot of money. It was a great company at the time. It's a great, still in a great category. Uh, but, you know, people don't understand that when you see your high up executive, they don't know, you know, how you made it through. I ran every division of the company, working my way up through the through running big divisions and, you know, continue to get promoted and continue to contribute to the company and play the big role. Um, and then all of a sudden you go public or you get bought out and you get, get those checks and everybody thinks, oh, that was easy. And it's like, oh, wow, you have no idea. <laughs> well, what does, uh, with you guys and what you're doing now, of course, the show coming out April 15th, uh, just a couple of days, Wall Street yeah. on HBO Max. 
What's the what's the goal for you guys now? What when you look and you go, okay, hopefully, God willing, we're through this pandemic or we're on the downhill slide of the pandemic anyway. When you take a look at your business coming yeah. out of something like that, all your businesses, what 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 is your goal for the next year, for the next two years? Where where are you guys trying to get to? We're not really trying to get anywhere. You know, they came to Mark and want, you know, everybody's interested in Mark's business dealings and entrepreneurial spirit and, you know, kind of the modern entourage, you know, spin on it a bit, kind of to peek under the sheets as to who the people are around him. Um, I'm lucky enough to be one of them. You know, I've had a 11 plus year relationship with Mark, started off as friends, which is always a good place to start uh, before we did any business together. Um, so, you know, listen, we'd love to, we love to be able to showcase what we're doing. It, obviously it helps all of our brands and helps our brand and our, you know, image, you know, I think people are going to love, you know, seeing Mark again, you know, I know from Wahlburgers, you know, that was basically, you know, really peak under the sheets again, seeing the whole family and people fall in love with the family and everything else. Uh, but yeah, so we, we just think that, you know, hopefully it gets picked up for multiple seasons. We think we'll have some fun with it. And it'll help, you know, everything that we touch and adds real value from a marketing standpoint, you know, introducing us to the whole HBO family. You get HBO Max for free, by the way, if you have HBO. So it's, it's uh, should open us up to a whole new audience. You know, of course, I'm, you know, love performance inspired. That's our first baby that we started. Um, and, you know, the health and wellness space, we have, you know, over almost 40 products right now that are all kicking ass. And, yeah, you know, we just love that whole health and wellness space and introducing people even to that. And listen, Mark's all about inspiring people to be healthier, working out more. He's always on me, um, pushing me hard. And he really, you know, loves inspiring people. And that's a big part of the message is how do you inspire to be better? You know, and that's doing business. We give back to charity. We commit to our net profits out of PI to charity, for example. That was like the first starting points on our labels. You know, so Mark's all about always how do we give back to charity? How do we inspire people to be healthier? How do we inspire them to eat better? How do we inspire, inspire, inspire? It's in the name of our product, <laughs> Performance Inspired. That's how important it was to Mark and me to really just help do good in the world do better you know so we're always doing a lot of great things and mark does a lot of amazing things like calling up a, a you know young man here in pittsburgh who who was in a football accident is, is you know crippled from, from i think the waist down and you know, in a wheelchair and just calling him not you know just i mentioned to him he's like give me his number i want to call him you know so he does a lot of that you know that people don't even know about so he's really a cool guy well, and you can just tell that. And and I, I'm one of those people, I, I just, I don't care what anybody says. I believe that when you, when you get back what you put out there, you reap what you sow. And, and when you sow goodness and you sow inspiration and you sow, uh, you know, creativity and empowerment to people, that's exactly what you're going to get back. Um, and, and that's why I'm so, I'm so looking forward to checking out this show. Uh, and and seeing what you, you guys are are up to and and what you're going to be continuing to be up to and and uh, I just I just think it's exciting I, I I talk about it here on the podcast all the time um, I love the performance inspired stuff I mean I use it daily um, I feel better and 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 you can tell through everything that you guys do that what you just said is so true that that it's not it's not about making the money it's not about being number one it really is truly about People being healthier, people being happier and living longer lives uh, and living a more fulfill, fulfilling life. And and I know for me that, yeah. that when I started, especially, you know, using Performance Inspired and I started doing the shakes every day, it's like I just feel better. And when I feel better, I can accomplish damn near anything I want to accomplish. And, and I think maybe that's part yeah. of the inspiration as well, is that the better you feel, the better you're going to do. Yeah, no doubt. No, it's great. Well, thank you for that. And you've been a great supporter. We really appreciate it. Well, I love it and you know it. Um, I, I just, yeah. you know, I keep, I, I just, I, I love every time you guys bring out something new because it's like, oh, yep, I need that. I, I have not been doing that. I need that. So that's exciting. Well, Tom, look, I know you, you got to get, you got to call Mark back. He's, he's going to be upset if you don't get back to yeah. him pretty quickly. Uh, I want to thank you for being here again, man. You know, you know, I love you to death. Wish you all the success in the world with the yeah. show. And uh, we'll keep pumping it here on the podcast because I think it's going to be very important for people to watch this show. I, I think it, I think seeing what goes oh, into it, the sacrifice and the success as well, I think it's going to be important. 
but we're excited and I'll try and get Mark on your podcast soon and good luck to you out there and your move and with the podcast and uh, hopefully I can be back on again. Absolutely, man. We'll do it. Maybe we'll do a, we'll do a rap show when the show wraps and uh, I'll have you on that week. That would be right. great as well. Brilliant. I'm in. Once again, I want to thank Tom for stopping by and taking a few minutes. As you noticed in the interview, Mark Wahlberg even called in while we were in the middle of the interview. Uh, I'm hoping at some point, uh, he's a very, very busy guy. Mark's one of the nicest guys in the world, and he wants to do everything, but he is very busy. Um, I'm hoping that we get to have him here on the podcast soon, maybe to talk about Wall Street and talk about some of these other things that we've talked with Tom about. Uh, that would be great. So maybe stay tuned and look for that to happen in the future. I want to thank Tom for for taking the time out of his schedule today. This is a very busy week with them launching the show on HBO Max, so I appreciate his time, as always. And again, if you guys, you hear me talk about it all the time, but I love Performance Inspired. I I take the multivitamin every morning. I drink the, uh, the shakes every day for lunch because it keeps me feeling full. It gives me all natural plant-based ingredients that give me that natural good feeling. Uh, and so I, I preach about it all the time. They're, they're quite often frequent sponsors here on the podcast, and I appreciate it. And uh, just really good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that interview. Uh, don't forget, check out Wall Street on HBO Max coming up just a couple of days on April 15th. Set it, watch it. Make sure you watch it every single week. I think you're going to learn some amazing things behind and how exactly some of the most successful business people in our in the in modern times are doing business also you'll get to see a little bit of the struggle and the sacrifice which i think is just as important so don't forget wall street april 15th hbo max with my buddy tom dowd and mark Wahlberg. guys thank you for being here again don't forget rate review and subscribe to the podcast rate us five stars on apple podcast Uh, Make sure that you are subscribed to this if you're watching this. The new Steve Rubin Podcast YouTube channel. Subscribe. Leave us a comment. Hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Today's episode brought to you by Found Business Banking for the Self-Employed. And follow me everywhere on social media at The Steve Freeman. If you want to connect with me directly, DM is not the way usually because I, I don't see them that often. You want to text me, become a part of my community. Text me at 949-577-8227. That's 949-577-8227. Become a part of the community. I do respond, respond to everybody. Anyway, thanks for being here again. Thanks, Tom Dowd, for taking the time. And guys, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, dream big, work harder. Systems Initiated. You're listening to the Empire Podcast Network.